So this is going to be a show review, and this show review is on The Seven Deadly Sins. It's my first anime show review, and it's the second anime review that I'm doing. And this video is going to have spoilers, so now that you've been warned, let's begin. So like I said on my last video and a couple other videos that I want to broaden my horizon on anime because I don't watch anime. I'm the type of person that is like, that's anime? That's doesn't really sound good. Doesn't sound like my cup of tea. But is this anime good? So Seven Deadly Sins is a show that's on Netflix that's an anime. It only has one season, 24 episodes, and each one is 24 minutes long. So it's a very short show, and what I found out is that that's most anime. So I don't know if I'll do anime shows in the future, but I'm definitely going to do, like I said, I'm putting, how, I'm putting out How's Moving Castle probably next week, and I'm going to do more anime movies. I might do more anime shows after I get caught up with Gotham and Once Upon a Time, Daredevil, and those type of shows. But after all those shows and a couple others like Jessica Jones and all of them, I I may try an anime show again. I probably will. This anime was kind of like that food that you eat that you know you don't dislike it. You know that it's not a bad type of food but you don't know if you actually like it so you take the first bite and you're like this is maybe good maybe okay then you take a second bite and you're like I really still don't know then a couple bites later you're like I'm almost halfway done and it's great why didn't I realize beforehand that's what this show is from the very beginning it's for the first like five episodes or so it's not a great show. It's not bad, but it's not great. But what is great about the first few episodes, even though they're not really great, they have a great ending. The very ending, even if the very first part of the show wasn't wasn't all that interesting, the very end is like, that's kind of cool. I really want to know what's next. You know, 20 minutes before this, it was okay, but this, this last couple minutes, it's awesome. So, it makes you want to watch the next episode. Now, like I said, the first few were not bad. They just weren't great. After the first five or so, it starts turning great. Like, really, really good. And not only does it get great, it also ha still has the great endings so the first five or so episodes they are okay but then they're just great but every single episode almost out of the 24 episodes has a great ending now the songs like the beginning intro and end intro and all that i kind of skipped that for the most part to be honest i don't know if that's a true anime thing to do but I don't really care to listen about the first two minutes of the thing as long as I hear it the first time I'm okay it does have an all right intro saying you know it's about when gods and humans and all that were together and blah 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 but I can only hear that so much before I go crazy I'm not a huge fan of the beginning songs and the end songs of any show but I can understand why some people like it because it kind of tells you what the show is about and that's one thing also one thing I liked about the show even though it got a little annoying only because it is a Netflix show that you know and most people will binge Netflix shows is it in the very beginning of the show it'll tell you like a two-minute synopsis of what's happened you know earlier on in the shows like if it was episode 10 it would say what happened you know like six through nine or whatever maybe a little uh earlier it, it it gets bits and pieces so you remember what you're watching 
And that would be all right if it was like a TV show on TV and you don't always get to watch it, you know, show after show or episode after episode. So I liked it, but it was unneeded, I thought. One thing about the show also is in the very end, on most episodes, I don't get why some episodes did and some episodes didn't, but in the very end, it'll like have the little like ending song and then it'll have like 45 seconds to a minute of a clip to kind of give you a little a little something for the next episode. I like that. I actually liked those more than when they didn't. I don't know. It gives you a little more of a tease for the next episode and those were mainly the episodes that I wanted to watch more and more of the next. Now let's talk about the characters. The characters were pretty freaking awesome. Deanne, she's a giant. Not only that, she's she's a giant that you actually care about. She's not like some big monstrous giant that, you know, you're like, oh, you're strong, that's cool, but that's all you got. No, she actually has heart. And she actually has feelings for Miliotis. What's funny about that is she liked Miliotis. Miliotis liked Elizabeth. Elizabeth liked Miliotis, and King liked Deanne. So it's it's a little like back and forth with the whole love, not even triangle. It's like it's some type of love shape. It's it's kind of back and forth and weird, but I liked it. I loved that King. He knew he had a past with Deanne, and Deanne didn't even know a certain part of her past that was with him. Speaking of King's past, King's past, which was cool about him, is his past, his best friend, ended up being one of the main villains in the very end. And Miliotis. Miliotis kind of got on my nerves in the very beginning. I liked him. I loved his, his enthusiasm. But what I didn't like is he was too much of a pervert. Like, he was, he wasn't even like a normal pervert. He was very, very annoying when it came to him being a pervert. And there there was no point. But one thing about him is he had this broken sword. And the reason he didn't use a full sword is because he knew that he was too strong. So he used a broken sword to kind of weaken him so he doesn't go too far. Another cool thing is he cared about that sword so much. If someone took that sword, he'd go all demon mode and make sure they're, they're, they're going to give it back. But it changes from that sword being that main priority to Elizabeth. And that was pretty cool. Kind of bites for Deanne. She was kind of upset about it. But she also liked Elizabeth, so that was cool. Another cool character was Bond. I loved that he was like kind of nonchalant and he was kind of lazy with his fights, but he was very strong. And the only thing that I didn't like is he would end up having the same like clothing. He would like have this like pants and a short shirt, and then he'd find someone with the same exact one or just alike. I wish I wish it was a little different. But that's just a little thing. I really liked him as a character. Pig in the show, I actually liked the pig. The pig, I thought was kind of was gonna be like Jar Jar Binks, but no, I actually liked the pig. And the pig, the very ending, when when the pig turned black and we thought the pig was dead, and then it kind of pulled a Groot on us. I liked that. Another thing I liked was the action. The action was one. Of the coolest things about the show, it had so many cool action scenes. Yes, the character was my favorite part, but the action was very, very good. And that's one thing that I feel like I'm gonna learn about anime opposed to normal shows or movies. In shows, <clears throat> it'd be hard to have that type of action. And don't get me wrong, there's still great shows and great movies that are you know, non-anime that have amazing action. But their type of action, it's different and I really liked it in the show. But it wasn't too much action. I don't think there could have been too much action in the show. The action was really cool. One thing I hated about the action though was there's 
there's three different things that they would do if they did like a special move. One, they would just do it. Two, they would do it with subtitles saying, you know, rising tornado. Or, or they would yell it like, yell rising tornado. And to me, that is very, very ugly. My favorite type was when it showed the little subtitle. And the reason is because I actually liked knowing the type of move it was, but I hated when they said it. I thought it was very, very lame. Maybe it's just me, but if I'm fighting someone and I just yell rising tornado, it it's not it is it's it's not gonna sound right. But if I do it and then like, you know, for viewers' sake it it tells you what it is in a little subtitle, that is alright with me. But even with no subtitle, that's cool. But I'd rather have no subtitle or subtitle than them say it. I really, really did not like them saying it. That's actually one of the things I liked the least about the show is I hated that. I don't know why, maybe that's just me, but I did not like that. Another awesome thing about this show is yes, it was only 24 minutes long, but it was 24 episodes. And even though the filler, there was filler, like I said, all the filler was good. And the very last episode made me really want to watch the second season. Now, I hope that there are two or three seasons of this show, but I don't see them going past three or four seasons. Maybe four. But even if they stick with the only two seasons, I'd be perfectly fine. I really liked the first season a lot more than I thought I would, and I'm excited for the second season. And to be honest, I'm gonna buy The Seven Deadly Sins on Blu-ray if it ever comes out on DVD. I don't know if Netflix Originals... Oh no, yeah. Or Orange is the New Black came out on DVD, so never mind about all that. When it does come out on DVD or Blu-ray, I will get it. Another thing I liked about this show is Throughout the show, not like all jumbled up and not way too spaced out, they they show you the seven deadly sins or six of the seven deadly sins. Like first, you know, like it's, it's not like, you know, the first five episodes you find out who all of them are. Throughout the show, you find out who they are. And I really like that. The sixth one, you didn't find out who she was until one of the very ends. And that was Merlin. And going back to the whole, I can't wait to watch season two, like I said, they showed six of the seven deadly sins. I thought that was really cool. Uh, a whole season with showing most of them, six of them. One of them, not as much. Like I said, Merlin was near the end, but she was still in it. And not only was she in it, but because it did show six of the deadly sins and not the seventh, Part of you is like, whoa, I can't wait to watch the second season to find out the seventh. And another part of you is like, you, you're you glad that you didn't get everything in the first season. Because it, it kind of would have been a letdown if you did see all seven. One, because it gave Elizabeth a legit reason to be in the second season. Meliodas, in the very beginning, said that he will be with her until they find the seven deadly sins. Not only that, that gives that gives Bond enough time to separate from the seven deadly sins because he was supposed to fight Meliodas and kill him so his love of his life, King's sister, can be brought back to life. You still don't know if that's true, you still don't know if that's false, and you still don't know if they're actually going to do the fight. But the fight with Meliodas and Bond, and... The fact that Elizabeth is going to be with the Seven Deadly Sins, with the fact that they're looking for a Seventh Deadly Sin, with the fact that the the whole demon, the demon project with the Holy Knights and all that, that wasn't all of it. There was also a part that, in the, in the beginning, you see Meliodas with the sign on his head, and you'll, and if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. And it had that picture all over this desk. And, you know, the guys were like, what was, what was the whole plan? What is the plan now? What is 
all of this, and, and they're going to find out what that part of the plan was in the second season. So I'm very excited for the second season. First season was great. I'd give this show a B plus. I really liked it. Even if you, I didn't think I would like anime, I still might not like anime. But the very few anime that I've seen so far, I did like. And whether you like anime or not, I suggest at least trying the first six episodes. After after the first six episodes, if you don't like it, you probably won't. Me personally, I did like the first episode, and that's the only reason I would watch a show. I know a lot of people were like, well, the first four or five episodes, the five or six episodes weren't that good, but they finished it anyways. That's not me. If a pilot cannot at least draw me in, then I will not watch the rest of the show, because that's, to me, that's what a pilot should do. If nothing else, you should at least be intrigued in watching the second episode from the pilot. But that's just my opinion. So I am going to probably start Gotham next. I'm probably going to have my next movie review up Monday, hopefully sooner, but at least by Monday night. And like I said, I will have videos up more than I've been lately. I am sorry that I haven't been very active. And what is a show or shows that you're watching right now? And comment below. Let me know if you like them or if you dislike them or if you want me to watch any certain type of show. And like I always, like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.